Hello everyone, welcome. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use the Columbia 4R4L Posterior Universal Curette. Now, this instrument is excellent for the use on removing heavy calculus uh, posterior deposits and it is also great for narrow pockets and for occasions. Now, this instrument, because it's a curette, you can take a closer look. It has a rounded toe and it has two cutting edges on both sides. Now, if you take a closer look, you can see that the face is at a 90 degree angle to the lower shank and um, the lower shank, when you are instrumented, must be tilted slightly toward the tooth surface in order to be able to establish that correct angulation. So now we're gonna go on and we're going to be uh, using this instrument. But uh, first, before we begin, we must first establish the correct working end. And in order to do that, you may wanna start by placing the instrument right into approximately between uh, two posterior teeth, in this case, the two premolars. Now, if you take a, if you take a closer look, you can see how my lower shank is parallel to the long axis of the tooth. And you can also see how the functional shank goes up and over that first premolar. So that is how I know I have the correct end. Another way is to place the instrument right on the buccal surface of that tooth, of any of these posterior teeth, and you'll see how the instrument actually hugs the mesial. Whereas if I were to use the incorrect working end, you see how now the instrument is not parallel to the long axis of the tooth and it is not uh, adapted correctly. And if I were to place the instrument uh, pointing towards the mesial surface, now you see that the tip is pointing outward. So that is incorrect, okay? So this is the correct working end. And now that we got that down packed, let's begin. Okay, so first I'm gonna start by retracting the cheek and making sure that I have an established fulcrum. So you wanna always try to fulcrum about two to three teeth away from the area that you're working on. And remember, because this is a curette, you wanna make sure that you are establishing the toe third of the instrument directly right onto the tooth at all times. You do not want that toe sticking outward to lacerate the tissue. So um, by adapting my toe third, I'm going to start at the distal line angle and I'm gonna go subgingively right into the pocket and I'm gonna work my way around into the distal there. And now I am going to come across the buckle, insert at the distal line angle, making sure I have overlapping strokes and making sure that I am establishing that 70 to 70 to 80 degree angulation towards the tooth just by rocking on my fulcrum. Again, distal line angle. and making sure that you're rolling as you are approaching that line angle. And that is how you use the Columbia 4R4L Universal Curette. If you like this video, please hit like, share, and subscribe, and stay tuned for more to come.